Hello guys, this is Mauro from GreenFoTech.com and this video I just want to show you a quick tour of the uh, newly re uh, leaked build of uh, Windows 10. This is build 10.1.3.4 and there's not many changes but there are quite a few things that are new and don't expect much uh, going uh, forward on, on new things coming up because pretty much all the features and everything that's um, ready for Windows 10 has already been included so we're going to see minor changes and just more refinements to make the uh, the operating system um, stable for the uh, final release that's going to happen on July 29th uh, 2015 uh, so let me show you uh, the little things that are new and we're going to start with the uh, uh, the snipping tool yep that's uh, that's one of the um, uh, tools that Microsoft is updating on this bill and let me just uh, open the snipping tool alright right here it's not really stable uh, this bill um, because Microsoft is not making this um, bill uh, available for uh, public release so this is not finished but uh, we can see now that we have a delay button right here so so we can delay the, uh, the screenshot so we can add a uh, delay and, and then we just it delays a few seconds and it takes the uh, screenshot and you can just and you can just do you know whatever whatever is that you need with the uh, with the screenshot uh, so next um, uh, the windows uh, on windows 10 there is some a uh, few new modifications on the uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna close that and there's a few new modifications on the uh, settings app and we're going to see this on the uh, update and security and now when we go to uh, Windows update and then we go to advanced options now users uh, have the option to stop uh, receiving bills of uh, from Windows Insider and of course you can change you know what kind of builds do you like if you if you want to have the um, the fast releases or the slow releases but um, basically uh, this is gonna help when Windows 10 releases to the uh, to the public on, on July 29th because moving forward we're gonna still see uh, new builds of Windows 10 um, coming to the public so if you feel that uh, the Windows 10 you have is um, uh, stable enough and you just uh, wanna you know just start using Windows 10 with the features it has to offer you can stop getting the the bills and also on this bill we're going to see uh, that uh, Microsoft is, um, is adding a new option that will let users try new features uh, as soon as they come out uh, sometimes uh, Microsoft is going to need uh, people to test features they are not ready for the public release and this is what it's going to do like if you really want to try the latest and greatest and let Microsoft test uh, what they need to test with you you can enable and disable this option and you are probably gonna need to uh, uh, make a Windows update after that so that's pretty much what's uh, what's going on on the uh, update sites site I mean and now there is another option that I found on privacy now we can see the uh, feedback has been renamed to uh, uh, feedback and diagnostics. Uh, there is nothing new inside of the options, but the uh, the label is new. Also, now we see that we have a new background apps uh, page. Uh, basically, what this allows is um, uh, for users to have one place to control uh, which apps are running on the background. So at this moment, there is uh, three apps they are registered to run on the background and from here I can disable and enable them uh, as I yeah the good thing about this is that um, it will help to conserve uh, uh, battery or you know just energy in general and this is good for uh, mobile devices so uh, okay so that's pretty much everything on the settings app and now let's move to the um, uh, Microsoft Edge which is still Oh, sorry. I just opened the uh, the store web browser, the uh, Microsoft Edge uh, web browser, which is still named as um, uh, Project Spartan, but that's going to change on the future. 
and now we can see that um, if we go to the settings now we have the option to uh, show the home button on the uh, as you can see right now disappear but now we can click it and it will appear with a new effect and now we have the uh, home button right there so um, also we have this uh, import favorites from another browser so if you have a different browser in installed you will see it uh, listed here right now I don't have any other browsers so uh, the only thing I can import from is the uh, Internet Explorer which is still part of Windows 10 and this bill this version of uh, Project Spartan has jumped uh, the version number to 16 uh, 10 1 3 uh, 4 and that's pretty much it there is no many changes on on this build um, Mac, um, Windows 10 is pretty much ready and so we're just waiting for Microsoft to uh, give us a green light so we can install the final version um, if uh, there's other few changes but it happened on on the uh, build 10 uh, 130 that I recommend you to watch that video I'm gonna put the link on the uh, on the notes from this video so uh, uh, I hope this video was informative for you and I would thank you for viewing.